Are you drowning in the research process? Don't even know where to start or embarrassed to ask because you already feel like a failure? Don't worry, I'm going to show you how Google Scholar can come to your rescue. Benvenuti Scholars, I'm Dr. Marquette and my channel is about helping you get to graduation. Most people find research difficult and frustrating after spending hours with little to show for it. Learning how to use Google Scholar and linking your institution's library to Google Scholar will save you time and help you find the rich resources that you need. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is link Google Scholar to your institution. First, you're going to enter Google Scholar in the search bar or enter scholar.google.com. So click on the hamburger in the top left and click on settings. Once there, click on library links. After that, enter the name of your institution in the search bar and click search. The institution should appear and you will want to click the box to the left of its name. Then be sure to click save. Now you can search for your topic. For this demonstration, we are entering online education. As you can see, now there will be full text versions of articles available on the right of the article. If we click on that link, Google Scholar will most likely go to your institution's library login page. After logging in, you should have access to your selected article. Another great feature of Google Scholar is the ability to search by custom time frame. Here you can fill out the years of your range, click search, and only the articles in that range will show up. Next, save articles to your personal library. To do this, find the save star under each article entry and click it. A pop-up will appear and you'll be able to assign that article to a category that you create. To double check that article saved, click on the hamburger on the top left and select My Library. The library categories that you created when you saved your article, in this case, reading list, will appear on the left navigation bar. And there is the one we just saved. It worked. Next is citing sources in seconds. And this is one of my absolute favorite functions of Google Scholar. Just click on the cite link under the article and voila, a pop-up will appear with a variety of citation styles. All you have to do is copy and paste that citation into your paper. But don't forget to add the hanging format and double spacing if that is what your institution requires. Another feature of Google Scholar is the cited by link to find other articles related to the original one. Before we click on the link, notice that the date on the original article is 2016. When we click on the cited by, this is a handy way to find even more recent related sources since if it's citing it, it must come after it. We see that in the dates on these. Finally, create an alert so that Google Scholar will automatically send you related articles. This feature is like having a free research assistant. Once you create the alert, Google Scholar will send the link to relevant articles to your Google email. Here's an example of a set of alerts that have already been created. So there you have it. Don't get stuck in the deep sea of research. If you liked how I taught you to use Google Scholar, you'll probably benefit from our video that shows you how to use ProQuest, which is another great research resource. Also check out the description box below for the research text we recommend. Leave us a comment. Let me help you get to graduation. Oh, I was reading what? First. I don't even know why I'm laughing, it's not funny. The laughing is better than fighting. <laughs>